Hello all. So we are going to start the next program. Next program is uh, assembly language program to implement and also display eight bit up counter and also down counter. So basically we are going to uh, generate or going to design decimal counter on watch window or you can tell in other way B C D B C D counter on watch window. So there will be a separate window watch window. We are going to see in real time how the count starts. So we'll start with the program and uh, that will count from B C D number maximum B C D number eight bit it is possible that is 99 to zero and repeat. And also it is in case of down counter, in case of up counter, it will start from zero to 99. So let us start with the kill already. Uh, already it is available. I have opened that. And I have just, I have uh, copied the program. So let me start from the beginning. So let me open a file that is new file and uh, what is the program i have already written the program so uh, i can get it directly from that so this is the total program so i'll copy it to our this one editor window kill and also it's it's sufficient if we want that uh, because of our practice we can copy the initial uh, three lines also so let me copy that also so so next step is I have to save this, go to file, then save. So I'll give some name in the same folder I am saving. Let's consider as a down or up counter. See, counter.asm, save. Now I can add to the source group, add existing file to the group source group one, add it. So in the name I'll find counter.asm, add, close. You can see it is added. So unnecessary program we can uh, remove also. So let me remove the previously added programs. Then what I can do, I can build target to verify any error is there. So there is a syntax, uh, syntax error, so you can find out. If I click on the syntax error, it is showing at line number uh, seven. So line number seven, let me go and find. Yes, DAA, decimal adjust accumulator. There should be a space between them. So now I have corrected it. I'll build again, build target. There is no error. I can rebuild also. Enough. Now what I have to do? I have to start debugging the program. So let me debug the program. So once I de debug the program, so fine, I have debugged the program. Uh, let me open the project, same program. Now what I'll do, now I want to display the output in form of real time. So there is a little uh, deviation from the steps, whatever we have followed. So what I have to do, as I told in watch window, go to view, open watch window, watch one. So. Again, you can do go to view, watch window, watch one. So we have opened that. So you click on this, I have highlighted. So there what you have to do, you have to press to write anything in this, you have to press F2, press F2 and write like already written is A. So this is the general instruction. Open one watch window, click on this field and then click on this field then press F2 so it will be now it will it will enable to write something here press A so next you want to start your counter from any value like you want to start from 0 so again press F2 press 0 so counter will start from 0 now what you have to do just you have to press run control F run means F5 or directly you can click on run so you can see in real time this values are changing from 99, 98, like that. See, now output can be displayed in real time. It is changing and it will change 
up to some value. So this is the output, whatever it is expected. So down counter. So I am executing or uh, I am executing the program with respect to down counter. So I can see the sufficient change in the output. So output window, anyhow, it is uh, it is displayed. Uh, it is showing in real time. Uh, and output uh, window is nothing but the watch window now. Let, now let us come to the point with respect to the program, how it is happening. So basically the first three lines, anyhow, I am not going to explain. It is same always. So I want to display, uh, I want to make this counter work as a down counter. So down counter means maximum BCD number 99. Uh, it will count downward di direction. Hence first line, whatever we have written is move A comma 99H. So, the number it is there in the accumulator that only should be considered. Then what I am going to do, I am going to call a delay. So back a call delay. So back a call delay is here. This complete is delay subroutine. This complete is delay subroutine. So basically what is the purpose of delay subroutine between two displays? Now you can see it has stopped between two displays like 99, then 98, then 97. So between 99 and 90, uh, eight between these two displays it should wait for some time so we have inserted some delay so this is this is the delay between any two successive display it will be same so that we can nicely identify the output slowly it can display the output in form of a down counter or up counter in this case it is down counter so that we are going to call this subroutine called delay so this delay subroutine it is like a, in form of nested delay nested within a delay so that it can generate a higher amount of delay in form of seconds. So the purpose of whole subroutine is just to generate the delay. And to generate the higher delay, higher amount of delay in form of second, we have nested within another. What will happen? So every time this delay, uh, this back or this line will be executed, it is going to call a delay. Then what we will do? So first we have, uh, we have, uh, displayed or copied 99 to the accumulator then we then next value we are going to display should be 98 97 like that so next line once the first uh, this digit is displayed next line is add a comma 99 h so what will happen a content is already 99 you are adding 99 with 99 so what is the output we are going to get it is be in form of bcd so no we are not going to entertain any sort of alphabet only the digit so 99 plus 99 198 so 198 should be accumulated accommodated within a register but as you know a register is 8 bit register so only it can load 8 bit value so it cannot load two byte uh, number like 198. So what we will do? It will discard that one upper byte. Only it is going to display or load lower byte. So 199 plus 99, it is 198. But content of the accumulator will be 98. So hence what it will do? It is going to show uh, and it is going to show that the next value is 98. So like that. So next, what is the function of the next instruction is the decimal adjust accumulator. So this is the only only instruction used to adjust the uh, values. If it is in form of alphabet, uh, we have to add 06 so that alphabet will be eliminated and equivalent uh, digit or equivalent number, it will be displayed. As it is BCD counter, there is, we are not going to entertain any sort of uh, representation in form of alphabet. So decimal adjust accumulator, it is going to help us to display the number in form of digit so that exactly it should lo look like or work as a BCD counter. So next instruction, that is the part, uh, that is the function of decimal adjust accumulator. Next instruction is jump with no zero back. So unless and until it is zero, accumulator content is zero, it will go to the back. So now accumulator content is after adding 98, it will go to the back and it will wait for some time. It will uh, show the second display, in, second number displayed in the watch window is 98. Then again, it will add 98 plus 99. It is 197. One is discarded 97. Then it will go, uh, it will go, it is 97 is not equal to zero and decimal adjust accumulated. 97 is not equal to zero. Again, it will go to the back. So from here, again, it will go here. Then uh, again, uh, it will display 97. Then again, it will add 99. 97 plus 99, 196. One is discarded, 96. Then uh, 96 is a digit. So it 
not required to um, adjust the accumulator so hence nine and also 96 is not zero so again it will go back to this so unless and until it is becoming zero accumulator quantity is becoming zero what it will do every time it is going to display the number and it is going to call the delay so and once it will become zero what is what will happen again it will execute this line that is nothing but the all delay subroutines uh, all, all part of delay subroutine and finally it is going to uh, return from there and, and it is going to terminate the program so this is the small thing it is happening let me execute it again so basically what will happen so only the steps i have to follow extra steps i have to follow debug after debug i have to go to view uh, sorry i have to debug, debug it after debug i have to go to view i have to open a window called watch window watch one again one more time i have to go to watch window watch one so then this this place is not uh, uh, writable so i have to press f2 key from the keyboard and i have to enter a i have to enter a from the keyboard and i want to start my counter from any value uh, so I can enter next also I can enter 0, 1, 2, 3 all these things then what I have to do just I have to click on the run to start executing the program so you can see the output minutely so what will happen in this case if I uh, if I display the output minutely it is displaying the number in form of BCD also and side by side it is going to show the equivalent ASCII value in form of all the symbols it is going to display so I want to stop it I let me stop it and just uh, this is the program it is counter program for up down counter so if i want to modify this program or show that it can work as up counter just i have to change this now initial value is 00 h initial value should be equal to 00 h and every time it will count equal to count plus one so instead of adding 99 i'll add 0 01 0 01 then i'll save this i'll uh, Built the target. I'll rebuild the target. So there is no error. I can run it. Uh, I'll debug it. So again, it is there. Watch window. So same procedure. So just uh, already it is open. So just I'll click on the run. So it will start counting from upward direction now. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that it is counting. So it is showing up counter. So up counter display will be like this. So the same program uh, we can modify or use as a down counter and up counter. So down counter in case of down counter your starting value of accumulator that initialization of the accumulator should be equal to 99. For up counter it should be equal to 0. For down counter add, add accumulator with 99. Uh, and for up counter add accumulator with one that is the thing you have to do so this is the total program what it is going to do the program it is going to display the output in form of bcd counter output both in form of up counter both in form of down counter and the display will be in form of a display display is available the window called watch window thank you